Cool. Uh, my name's Robbie. I'm the UX designer in the um, platform team. Um, today, I'm just going to run you through um, an update that's already been um, doing some development work in the last sprint um, on the improvement for the multi-factor um, user setup. Um, so on the left is how it currently is, and on the right is how we have improved it. So I'm just going to share my screen and um, show you a little demo. Yeah, so this is how it currently is. Um, the multi-factor authentication came in in the last um, update. And so um, at the moment when you're in your user profile, imagining that I'm a student, um, this is if I had to set up my um, authenticator as like the SMS or the app or the um, security key, this is sort of what I'm presented with. A um, little bit clunky, a um, little bit hard to use. Um, so say basically I wanted to set up an app, I would click this button um, and then I would get faced with a bit of, there's it's a bit of flow to it, but it's, it's it needed some improvement. Um, so I'll show you what we have done. Um, so here is the uh, Figma prototype. So what we've done is obviously the um, initial landing page is a lot simpler um, and um, it's separated into these card designs, which are just sectioning off the, the, the more important parts, um, making it a lot more user friendly. Um, I'll just run through the Authenticator app um, process and I got a lot of help with this from Julia. Um, so shout outs to her. Um, so basically you would come and if you needed to set it up, um, you click on the blue button, that would take you through. Um, we've tidied up the, the text, um, the copy and given a bit of a one, two, three sort of, these are the steps you have to go through. Um, so basically you would put in your device name um, and then you would scan uh, this QR code with one of the uh, authenticator apps. Most people would have a pretty good idea of, um, say, the Google Authenticator or Microsoft um, and other places that they probably have to use it. Um, so say you would scan the QR code. Um, this little screen emulates what would be showing up on your mobile. Um, and then you would just follow that through. That would give you a um, code. And then you would enter verification code and save. So it's a pretty standard. Um, process which um, is pretty familiar in a lot of MFA but um, so it's nothing super new but we're just tidying up the process that was already there um, basically once you've done it it would say that it's successfully set up and instead of saying set up down the bottom it would now say manage and it would say that it's active um, so if you wanted to click on the manage it would bring you to this page and it would give you a couple of options um, for various reasons of the the way that the MFA is set up, um, it's pretty important that you um, replace your um, factor, but there is instances when you can remove. Um, so basically, if you if you only had one uh, factor set up and you removed it and logged out and then didn't set it up, then you would lock yourself out. So. Um, at this case, because there's multiple factors there, we can have the remove. But if there wasn't uh, multiple factors, it would only say replace. So I'll just run. It. So if you just click replace, it would um, prompt you that new um, of what's going to happen, um, and you still yes, I want to replace it. And that would take you back to the beginning. And basically, the only change this time is it's going to tell you that you through this text that you're replacing your app. Um, it kind of in the background it's sitting in sort of a um a bit of a a waiting position until you've activated all of this process um it doesn't it doesn't replace until you hit click save and then now it says authenticator you've got the new one and it's there um whereas if you went to remove it would just say do you want to remove it um yes remove it and then it takes you back to the beginning um so that's pretty much the the updates there. Um, there is other tweaks to the sort of the flow of the um, the other two factors, but I'll I'll leave those um, for now. But it's basically the main thing was just the landing page of the user preferences, 
um, we just improve that sort of um, in intuitiveness for everyone. So that's that's that.